Just what is the difference between mounted and dismounted anti-armor systems detectability? Is there any difference at all on the battlefield? Past tests by the U.S. Army and British armies yielded conflicting results. In 1983, the Deputy Chief of Staff of TRADOC for Test and Evaluations, as well as the TRADOC Knowledgeable Users Conference, identified this question as a test issue. The U.S. Army TRADOC Systems Analysis Activity was named as the proponent. The U.S. Army Combat Developments Experimentation Center was chosen as the test agency. The result is the Anti-Armor Systems Detectability Test Series. This is the story of the first of these tests. Acid, Phase 1. Acid 1 was conducted at Fort Hunter Liggett from 21 through 24 February 1984 by CDAC's Experimentation Team 1. The purpose of Acid Phase 1 was to test the hypothesis that no difference exists between the detectabilities of mounted and dismounted anti-armor systems. The tow system mounted on an M113A1 APC was chosen to represent a typical mounted anti-armor system. The Dragon was chosen as representative of a dismounted system. Five sites were chosen for the conduct of record trials. The sixth site was chosen for exploratory trials. At each site, tactical overwatch positions were chosen for the mounted and dismounted systems. Line of sight to each observation post was verified for each target position. The M60A1 tanks serving as observation platforms were placed on non-tactical positions. Two tanks were located 1,000 meters away from the target array. The other two were located 2,000 meters away from the targets. Administrative support vehicles and isolation areas for the observer teams were positioned so as to not interfere with the observer's view of the target area. Each trial began with four two-man observer crews mounting the M60A1 tanks. Data collectors took their positions. Crews received a final briefing on what to do. Turret swung into position and the crews had five minutes to search the target area. During this time, the crew was to detect and identify the anti-armor systems using all the available systems on the tank to include the ANVSG-2 thermal sighting system. Professional data collectors recorded each target detected and which system was used to detect the target. After the observation period, data collectors worked with the observer teams to verify the targets observed. Every other group of observers saw a mirror image of the target arrays. This blocked the effects of the terrain immediately surrounding each target, ensuring that the target, not the terrain, made the difference. Sixteen observer crews cycled through each site. No crew saw the same target area more than once. Initial data reduction occurred on site. The experiment control officer had instant access to the quick look data summary. The raw data forms then went to the data reduction facility on Computer Hill. There, the database was assembled and in-depth analysis conducted. The actual observed values were used to calculate a test statistic and significance tests conducted. At 1,000 meters, 80 valid observations of each target type were recorded. Mounted systems detectability was 55%. Dismounted system detectability was 35%. At 2,000 meters, 96 valid observations of each target were recorded. Mounted system detectability was 68%. Dismounted system detectability was 33%. Overall, 176 valid observations of each target type were recorded. Mounted systems detectability was 62% overall, compared to 34% for dismounted systems. The final test report and supporting documents from ACID, Phase 1, are on file at TRADOC Systems Analysis Activity, White Sands Missile Range, White Sands, New Mexico.